Okay, so hello everybody. Uh, we are Guest Genie, and what we do is we want to uh, allow humanity to discover, visualize, and countervail their own carbon impact on this world. So uh, every year, as a species, we pump into the atmosphere more than 38 um, billion tons of CO2, which is the key reason, uh, the root cause for the uh, climate change issues that we are facing in these years, in this age. So in order to countervail that, we came up with a plan, okay? So basically what we want to do, first of all, is to raise the awareness of humanity about this problem. And to do that, the concept is to take the users and allow them to understand which is the impact that they are having with their behavior, with the products that they are buying and the food that they are consuming. In order to do this, we decided to develop an application that is capable to um, provide and feed the user with information about any product that the user can visualize on his own camera and to donate to charities and NGOs that can act directly and on a scale on this system and on this problem. So uh, our application uh, can do that basically through three main activities, three main features. First of all, identify. So the application can identify any product is uh, visualizing and to understand how it's done, how it's based, both pulling from an internal database and both using image recognition. And then it can pull up in augmented reality just for, um, pull up uh, information in augmented reality just to ensure a clean UX. So while you're watching the product and the same screen, you have to do nothing. You are provided with all the information about the CO2 uh, amount that this, production, this product uh, has faced during its production. And then you are empowered. So users can actually purchase and donate money uh, to charities that, that can work and, on these kind of issues. Uh, what about the technologies? We actually uh, focus all of our efforts on the augmented reality engine using Unity and Vuforia for all the part of the uh, image recognition, for all the part of the augmented reality. And in the near future, we're going to integrate Clarify for the a deeper image recognition. All right, so here's a demo of Gas Genie. Let's see, how much CO2 was emitted in the production of this soda can? All right, so we see this can as a QR code. This is how Unity recognizes that it's looking at a compatible object. So if we take a look at the can here, there we go. We see that 0.28 pounds of CO2 were emitted in this can's production. And we also have a button there, there is, um, where someone can donate a dollar to a charity. The charity we were thinking of donating to actually was, um, I forgot what it was called. I think it was a dollar a tree or something like that, where for every one dollar you donate, one tree will be planted somewhere in the world. So that's the program. If we can get back to Unity. I'll get back to Come on. Okay, so in the future, we have three E's, to engage, to earn, and to expand. We can engage users by gamifying it. We're thinking of making a leaderboard for however many objects people have analyzed and or for how much money people have donated across their gameplay. Maybe a global tally of all the money donated to NGOs that support these green initiatives. We can earn. The revenue model can leverage a donation system built into the app. Perhaps people, because people will pay for things like a microtransaction. They'll pay for a dollar to get some coins in the game or whatever. And so we're thinking, why won't they do the same thing for um, supporting the environment? So maybe we can design, there are all sorts of ideas for revenue models. Um, to expand it, we could think, we could widen the database with the amount of, amount of objects. We're thinking to deepen the food understanding and maybe, because we took inspiration from what was around us. We thought, why not look at furniture? We actually, in the research, we discovered that there are some, you know those polyester baskets? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing my thing here. You know what's not personal Yeah, and this is our team. Great folks, everybody. Thank you. What about the polyester basket? <laughs> yeah, questions about the polyester basket. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, about three and a half pounds of CO2 were emitted in its production. Wow. Because we assumed to use PET plastic, that's about 2.3 pounds, and we took a ballpark, that's about a pound and a half, that basket. I have, a, I have a quick follow-up, oh, actually. Yeah. Um, so, two a two-parter question: Where did you get the information about the carbon emissions for for each of these? And various sources. Okay. And okay. And uh, <laughs> um, 
And is the dollar amount that you suggest for donation uh, kind of correlated to the emission, or is it? Uh, we're thinking we're, we could do that. Yeah, maybe like scale it up, make people. We actually are joking. We call it the guilt factor. Right. No, I mean, <laughs> as, pe as yeah, the CO two yeah. emission increases, donate more and more. Sure. But no, we were thinking actually just unify it to about a dollar because people won't snap their fingers and say, "Oh yeah, I'll donate fifty bucks." Boom, like that. Right. But if they see a dollar, they think like a microtransaction in a game. I'll do it. Sure. Why not? Sure. Uh, can I just add up about the, where we got the data about the, um, the CO2 emissions? Mm -hmm. There are online repository. They are pretty easy or even to scrape in order to get most of those data. Okay. So and like, is it a component based or a production line based? Like, do you have to look at each a different pathway, or d is there some repository of uh, final it's, product? It's it's both. So basically, you can like for the can, you can use like the amount of aluminium that is used to produce the can. You can uh, get this data from there, or there are like the PC. So it, like, let's say a normal laptop, how much is it? And there is the full value of the of the Great. whole thing. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, you've answered most of my questions. It's just one thought going forward. It'd be cool to see. Um, you know, there there are large chunks of the world that have did, a dollar is a lot of money to ask to donate. Um, so it'd be cool to to show some kind of like offsetting activity they could do. Uh, maybe walk to work instead of drive, or or something that would help offset that carbon footprint, as opposed to necessarily the donation. About that, we actually um, we wanted to integrate it where what we would do is we would say planting a tree would offset the impact of however many aluminum cans or however many laptops or however many designer polyester baskets um, you scanned. Yeah. Uh, a couple of thoughts uh, I have. Uh, I love this, first of all. Augmented reality is great. I love seeing Thank projects you. like that. Um, first thing that hit me was I'm also interested in methane emissions because you know methane is actually a worse greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide is. And you, of course, if you're showing products in the supermarket or something, I'd like to know is the, the lamb or the beef or you know that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. Oh, actually, that's a tool. Uh, in reality, we can track anything. Any problem mm -hmm. that, is mm -hmm. that we have a database, we can even speak about uh, mercurium or any kind of inquinement agent can be added to this. And also the activities that are triggered, it's, this is just a mean, and anything once started can be used to for an horizontal or a vertical expansion of the activities. Mm -hmm. So of course, any kind of, it's, it's a tool to better understand and to raise awareness and to understand mm -hmm. what's your impact in using the things. Yeah, and it's, that very much speaks, I think, to sustainability and extensibility. Um, so with that in mind, uh, a thing to really take advantage of with augmented reality is visualization, right? So it would be great if I could just at a glance, if I have two products that I'm comparing next to each other and like there's a cloud of smoke or something that represents the CO2 and one is bigger on the other can or smaller on the other one. Same thing with, with methane or whatever other emissions. You and I must be on some sort of same frequency here <laughs> because that was another idea we had. We were thinking of drawing up like small boxes. Like um, there's, that, there's this one XKCD where it's like, you know, it's um, the radiation chart. It's like the blue, the green, the red, the yellow boxes yep. to put everything into perspective. We were thinking of doing something like that with mm -hmm. if it was, for example, 0 0.28 pounds, we would have five little um, 0 0.05 pound boxes going to bing, 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 mm -hmm. up here there. And, and this goes beyond the scope of the challenge, but you could also do something with nutrition. Uh, information. With what, I'm sorry? Nutrition information. Ah. Right, and kind of visualize that as well, help people make good choices. So thank you, this is great.